Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a piece of picture, a piece of JPG image to become a 3D avatar for your Blender 3.6. At the beginning, you are going to use just a piece of picture and we are going to make it from 2D to become 3D, from picture to become 3D mesh. So in this tutorial, we are going to use another third-party software that is the Revolution Character Creator 4. And now you can see, just by using a piece of picture, we can just generate a 3D human, human humanoid avatar and then later we are going to import into the Blender. And in Blender, you in this avatar, you will see that you can have the facial skeleton and you will have the blend shape as well of the facial blend shape like this you can see this is a really awesome 3d avatar and you can manipulate the facial the facial skeleton as well not this just for example if you want her to open the mouth you will have the jawbone as well so this tutorial we are going to learn step by step. You can just go to my video description. You can just scroll down, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I always publish this type of the pipeline tutorial that link, link the 3D between two different software. For example, for today's tutorial, we are going, going to learn about the pipeline between the Character Creator 4 and the Blender. So now I'm going to start everything from beginning. I'm not I'm not going to use this. I will just click File, New, General and start from beginning. And then you need to have the Character Creator 4 and always remember the Character Creator 4 is not a free software, it is a paid software. And in this demo, I'm, I'm just showing you how to use it. And it is just a choice if you like it. You can just go to the video description to get the software. I already put the official link of the Character Creator 4 at the video description. So, first I will just open the Character Creator 4, everything start from beginning. And by default, it tastes just like this. The whole GUI is like this. So you need to have the Headshot 2 plugin. And then, next, you need to select the image and select Auto. Next, you need to have a picture. This is a JPG picture. You can take your own picture or you can take your friend's picture. Next, the headshot picture. The first step, what you are going to do is just click the image and click the auto. Then drag the picture. It can be JPG, it can be PNG. Drag it to here. And then, for example, this picture is a female, so I select female. Then I choose no mass and click generate. Now the AI is going to analyze the picture and generate a 3D avatar for you at this stage. So here just need to wait for a while until it go to 100%. So we are going to wait for 100%. And then if you can see this avatar pop out, that means it almost done and you just need to be patient and wait for a while. How long it, it would take, it depends on your computer speed. If you have a really high-end computer, it is going to generate the mesh very fast. So now it's almost done. Now you can see it already done. Once done already, you can do some modification here or you can just go to the blender to just re it. But at this stage, I'm just going to add some of the, the cloth. I will click the content. I will click here to add some cloth for this avatar. Or you can just leave it like this. It's okay. And you can make the cloth in Blender if you want. But I'm going to use some cloth here. Just double click to apply. And then I'm going to give her some shoes, uh, shoes as well. Click here.
And once I already give this avatar some cloth, I'm going to delete the underwear and the bra. I will just click the scene and check. The bra is here, I press the delete button. The underwear is here, I will click the delete button as well. Because all of these meshes are just, just below the shirts, it will occupy, occupy some of the space and also it will make the 3D model become complicated. So if you feel satisfied already, first you may just save it as a project. You click File, save the project as, and as demo, I'm going to save it on my desktop. And I will just name this as Model 03, for example. Then click File, Export, FBX, Cloth Avatar. The Target Tool preset, choose Blender. Then you click the setting here. Then click Use T Pose as a By Pose and Embedded Texture. Then the FBX option, we only want the mesh. That's all. Click Export. Click OK. Then as demo, I will export it on my desktop. And I will just name this avatar as Model 03. Then click Save. Now it is exporting the FBX file. That's here. So next, I'm going to show you how to import it into Blender and create a proper setting. Now this is Blender 3.6. At the beginning, I will just press A and press Delete to delete everything from there. Next, I will just click File, Import FBX. It is on my desktop, Model 03. I double click it to import it. And then, now I'm going to activate the texture. And I'm going to give you a demo on how to set off the material if something wrong. Now you can see the eyes is not, the material of the eyes are not set properly. I click the eyes, then I will click here. Then scroll down. The blend mode, I will change it to become the alpha blend, alpha hash. Then another eyes, scroll up, click. This, this is right, then. Here is left, I click the left eyes. Here, the blend mode, change it to become alpha hash. And next, you can see this shirt is quite shiny, it is reflecting the light. I'll just click here and scroll up, trying to find the specular and make it zero. And next is the bottom, click the specular, make it zero as well. So now everything looks normal. Check the, check, check the shoes, everything looks normal. So if everything looks look normal, we are going to check the skeleton and the morph. Click the armature, rename this as model 03. Next, click here, viewport display, to turn it in front, then stick. Like that, it is easier. So now we can check the facial morph. Let's say I click and check the facial morph. The, the shape key is here. These are the shape key that you can use it to, to create a facial expression animation. And then we click the skeleton, go to the post mode, then you should be able to rotate the eyes. You can put it as a keyframe as well if you want to create a 3D animation. Now you can see the eyes can be rotated up and down, everything okay. So now how about to let this avatar to open the mouth? We try, click this and now you can set this as a keyframe as well. Click here to open the mouth. The rotation will be here. If you put like 0.1 to open the mouth, maximum you can use 0.1 to set the graph to let this avatar to have a talking animation. You can create the lip sync as well. So if you want to let, if you want to learn how to create the lip sync, lip sync talking animations, then you can scroll down, go to my video description. I already put a tutorial link at there, and how to animate the whole avatar. You can just refer to my tutorial as well. Just scroll down, go to my video description. I already put the tutorial link. In my previous video, I already teach everything. 
how to create the animation, how to generate the lip sync, and how to export to Unreal Engine, etc. So you can just subscribe to my YouTube channel and and go to the bottom, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the mini bell so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. And always remember, save your Blender project file. This is a humanoid avatar. Everything is up to the scale. For one box, it is one meter. So I, I'm going to save, click file, save as. As that more, I will save it on my desktop and name this as model 03. So in this tu tutorial, I already successfully show you how to generate a 3D avatar just by using a piece of picture, a PNG or JPG and create a 3D model, generate the 3D mesh and finally import into the Blender to make it become a 3D avatar for your 3D animation project. This is the Blender 3.6 and that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharing, always remember to subscribe and turn on the mini bell so that when next time you receive a notification once I publish a new videos tutorial. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing. See you!